I cover the celebrity beat in Las Vegas. Been here since the 90s, came here from Denver. I have one of the top five jobs in Las Vegas. Well, I really care a lot about the job, and I, I come from a hard news background, and I try to approach this column like straight news. You just follow the story. Vegas is so fiery hot right now. It's through the roof. People love coming up to me and telling me that so-and-so is in the house or so-and-so was in last night. And the doorman to the, uh, the bellman and the valet, uh, the showgirls email me. My claim to fame is that I not only broke Britney Spears' wedding story, but when she got pregnant, I had it three weeks before she announced it. The wedding happened about four o'clock. They uh, started realizing what happened around noon. Uh, the annulment slash wedding dinner was about four o'clock, and I got a phone call about 4.30. This was the equivalent of Elvis and Priscilla getting married. I, I met Wayne at the Stardust, and, and he went out of his way to give me time. I, I couldn't believe how cooperative he was. And uh, that's the one thing I've, I've heard of in Las Vegas. Everybody loves Wayne Dewey. Well, not everybody enjoys being in the column. A couple of years ago, I, I wrote that uh, Pete Rose was not among the, uh, the big tippers in Las Vegas. And uh, I uh, had the misfortune of running into him a couple of days later, and he bitch slapped me at our local restaurant. And the next day, a friend of mine from Denver uh, called and said, congratulations, you're in the Hall of Fame. You gave up Pete Rose's last hit.